According to NDTV, an Adani Group spokesperson has said that Adani Group's intent in investing in Sri Lanka is to address the needs of valued neighbour. He said as a responsible corporate, the Adani Group sees this as a necessary part of the partnership that the two nations have always shared. The spokesperson had said the company is clearly disappointed by the detraction that seems to have come about. He had said, and I quote, the fact is that the issue has already been addressed by and within the Sri Lanka government end quote MMC Ferdinando the chairman of Sri Lanka Ceylon Electricity Board resigned three days after he claimed before a parliamentary panel that he was told by President Gotabe Rajapaksa about Prime Minister Modi pressuring him to give the wind power project directly to the Adani group the Indian government has not reacted to the claim which the official retracted and which President Rajapaksa has denied the allegations involve a 500 megawatt renewable energy project in Sri Lanka Lanka's Manar district. The controversy erupted a day after Sri Lanka changed its laws to remove competitive bidding for energy projects.